Next up, we have the planes of the body. So your body really is three-dimensional, which should make sense. So we're going to talk about three planes of the body. And there's a lot of ways when it comes to x-rays, MRIs, CT scans, doing biopsies of a tissue that we can sort of divide the body and look from different angles. And so I'm going to also show you some um, MRI images as we talk about each of these planes so that you can really see why we do this and why we're looking at these different planes and it makes it make a lot of sense. So if you're working in radiology imaging, if you're working in cancer care, this is the primary place that you are going to find these terms. However, everybody needs to know these because at some point you are going to read a radiology report. Okay, so this is the first one. It is referred to as the sagittal plane. On occasion, it has an alternate name, which is the longitudinal plane. And you can see here from my patient, um, it is a nice black line right down the center that divides it. And so what happens is we are dividing the, the patient's body into a right side and a left side. So when we take a sagittal image, or we are looking at a sagittal MRI, we are somehow dividing that patient's right side from their left side of the body. Again, it is sometimes called the longitudinal plane. If you see it listed as that in a report or in a textbook, that is another acceptable um, way to reference this. If we are literally dividing the right from the left down the direct center of your patient, so literally dead center, we often refer to that as being mid-sagittal, mid being literally the middle. Okay, so here is an MRI of the brain and the head, and we're going to see some different ones for comparison. So you can rewind this video, speed it up, and make sure that you sort of understand the differences in all of these images. So we have taken the brain, and we've not literally sliced it, but with a um, MRI machine, we have sliced it in half, and we are looking in from one side. So it is like you are standing at the side of your patient and looking at them towards the side of the brain on the inside, and this would be a sagittal view. Okay, here we have another patient, and now you can see that instead of facing forward, they are facing sideways. The line is going down the center, but this time we are dividing them in a different capacity. So if we're dividing them this direction, this is often referred to as the frontal, sometimes also known as the coronal plane. And this frontal plane or this coronal plane divides the front of you from the back of you. Okay, so unlike the sagittal, which was right to left, coronal is front to back. Let's take a peek at another MRI. So we're again looking at the brain, but this is very different than the brain we just looked at. And so what we did was essentially we're facing a patient and we've sliced the front from their back and we're looking directly straight forward. And in fact, you can see those two big globes, those nice little smooth circles are the eyeballs and the brain is that nice little squiggled portion right on top. And so we're looking almost forward um, as we take slices of their brain. And this would be a frontal view um, or a frontal image, okay, or an MRI. All right, the last way we can divide somebody with a plane is in this transverse method. There are two other potential terms, so either horizontal, axial, right, are two potential, but transverse is the most common way that most of us learn it. So the transverse plane divides you a top from a bottom half. So let's take a look at a new MRI. And again, we are looking at the brain, and this looks very different than the last two that we have visualized. And so what essentially we're doing, um, again, not physically, but just with images and technology, we are taking the brain and we're sawing it off, and it's like we're looking straight down Okay, into the patient's skull. So now you can see that 
we are a 3D being and we can really look at a patient from three different directions, okay? And even the same body part from three different directions and an image, an X-ray, a biopsy of the cells, a look underneath the microscope is gonna give us a very different view and may give us a very different answer. And just in case you're wondering here, um, this little red spot is just extra. This is not actually something that was found on the MRI. It was just part of this image.